What is up everyone, JD here. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to bring you <laughs> another knife mod video as I completely whiffed there. What I'm going to be doing today is taking the Shark Bite OG scales off of my AD 20.5 and I'm going to be doing a stone wash and I've decided to actually anodize the scales. Saw a beautiful color that was very interesting to me that I wanted to go ahead and test out and I am going to be doing that with you all today. I will include everything that you need to know about the anodizing process if you're interested in trying to get your titanium to the same color. So without any delay, I will go ahead and time lapse the disassembly because I don't want you to have to wait around forever for that. And then we will jump into the anodizing video and what I'm gonna be doing today. Okay, so I finished doing a polish and I've done a little bit of a stone wash on here. What I'm trying to do, I'm gonna clean it up next to make sure that any of the black gut guck is gone. And I went ahead and polished up the backspacer as well and I'm ready for the anodizing for this particular bath. So what you're gonna need, in case you're wondering, you're gonna need some baking soda and space apparently. We're gonna move over here in a second. Baking soda, you're gonna need a little bit of a tub. I just lay them in and kind of move them around. You're gonna need a um, titanium cable here that you're gonna to wanna to use to dip them in. You're gonna need either a power supply or nine volt batteries. And you're gonna to want to have something for your ground. So I'm gonna get everything set up and then we'll move over to where I'm gonna be working. We're gonna be zoomed out pretty far, so I apologize. Also, I am I just keep this in case it sweats. I'm just using Simple Green to clean everything up. I have my gloves on ready to go to make sure I don't have any fingerprints. So I'm gonna do all that off camera because I really don't think anyone wants to watch me prep. I'm hoping nobody wants to watch me prep. <laughs> um, and then we will be right back with the results all right everyone back at the table this turned into quite a project so i'm going to save you the time lapse of putting it all back together plus i thought it would just be more fun to go ahead and do like the reveal right show you what the knife looked like 90 percent finished maybe 85 90 i don't know it all depends on what you think so I bought a power supply to do the Anno and my bad, I, I looked online and researched and I was like, okay, for this color, I'm going to put it at this and you know, I'm, I'm sure that's where I want to be. And the mistake I made was I should have just progressed. I should have, um, I had another knife that I was doing that I didn't really care how it came out. Well, I cared, but I, I didn't, it didn't matter as much cause I know I could always reverse it. Um, my point being is I started too high and I should have started low and I should have progressed up a little bit through the colors until I decided what I liked the best. Having said that, are you ready to see what it looks like finished? Here it is. Here is the outcome of the Anna work that I did. I actually decided to go ahead and match up the backspacer to the Lunch Northwest pocket clip. So it has like blue to purple to bronze, then to blue, uh, bronze and purple, <laughs> which wasn't easy. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. So the pocket clip and the backspacer match. And um, it was quite the event. So it, it was like a really light, drabby green and I just didn't really like that way the way that it looked so I picked up some Winx rust remover because it has I think hydrocortisone no hydro I don't even remember what it was 
uh, but there's an active ingredient that just strips everything off. So um, I'm not gonna do a video for the other knife that I tested on it, but I started it with the Tucson and um, and I tested the pocket clip. Lines are a little bit too even. I, I wish I would have faded it more and I may just go strip it one more time and do that. But uh, what I decided to do with the matte finish is go ahead and just kind of clean it. And then I hit it with uh, a number two pencil eraser, just like I have a, an eraser that I use for my ceramic rod to clean it. And I got it pretty clean. And I, I went ahead and anodized it because I just wanted to see what it would look like with a more matte finish. And I'm definitely going to probably take it apart and run it back through again. Or I might just try to clean this and see because I think I left this half in longer than this half. Um, doesn't look quite right. So this one probably might get stripped down and polished. Although I do kind of like the matte look on it and everything but i think i'm just going to polish it up having said that um it was really easy to do and probably another weekend i'll work on the tucson but i, I kind of like that matte look i just wish it wasn't so blotchy um what i ended up doing because this had that same matte finish once you stripped it i ended up just taking some mother's aluminum polish and just by hand because I wanted to go slow and take my time and make sure that everything looked good uh, I just polished it the best that I could I had a really nice terry cloth style towel that could kind of take the abuse and get into the teeth really good and um, I polished it up and I really think that the polish with the anno looks better than the the Met with the anno so i probably will end up redoing this one not tonight because it's a work night and it's almost nine o'clock at night i've been working on this since i got home wife had to work late so i took advantage right i'm not missing out on any time with my woman but I, i'm happy with it i think it looks really good the uh the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna order extra hardware because there's no titanium so i'm gonna get the steel hardware and um, unless I can find, if I could find a screw that fits this, that's the same diameter, but is a number eight instead of a number six, I might go that route. And if I could find them with titanium, maybe looking at some of the stuff that they make for Spydercos or Benchmades, maybe I'll go that way so I can anodize it, that um, bronze color. But if not, I'm gonna try to still do the heat anode on all the hardware. Uh, I think that would look really good with the bronze against it. Um, there you go. There's a sample of what the bronze might look like against it. Anyway, uh, oh, the other thing too that I did differently with the backspacer to get it centered up. Um, boy, it doesn't look centered in that camera, does it? Gosh, I can't really tell. Does it look centered? Probably about where it was. But what I tried to do differently this time is I pinched here. Sorry, here, I was like, that's way far up. And I pinched here and then I just kept working it until it looks centered. And then I put the last uh, two screws and the pocket clip in last. So um, I thought it looked pretty centered. Let me look at it off camera. Yeah, I think it's pretty centered. No side to side play, everything came out nice. But anyway, rambling at this point if you liked the way that it came out or just in general didn't like it either way let me know down in the comments what you think uh, i like blue a lot so if it's not really your color that's not really going to sway me but if you think that the uh the drabby matte maybe looks better than the um polished i think the polish looks good i like the little bit of reflection that you get off the teeth a little bit of color to uh my 80 20.5 with the 3v steel but let me know what you think down in the comments i uh, appreciate you tuning in if you enjoyed the video do me a favor leave a like consider subscribing if you're not already subscribed if you are subscribed don't forget to turn your notification bell on and uh thanks for tuning in today i really appreciate it all the links down in the description below where i got the scales will be linked pocket clip from lynch northwest i'll link it for you um i'll link the supplies too right i'll link the power pack the baking soda the uh titanium that i used for the hooks to do all of that i'm pretty sure i got that 
captured I'm not sure um, and you probably saw in the time lapse where I did do a little bit of a stone wash to try to get it to be beat up but that was negated by the polishing so that's not you're not gonna see that um, thanks for tuning in I hope all of you have a fantastic week until next time peace